the name Balthazar Ibang Igonga is trending across the world and it's trending for all the wrong reasons. This guy is the Director General of the National Financial Investigation Agency in Equatorial Guinea in Africa and he's making the headlines for all the crazy reasons specifically for reasons with regards to x-rated videos of him and over 400 women with some of them being alleged to be the wife of the director of the presidential security the attorney general's wife the daughter of the general or director general of police the wife of his own pastor's little brother the wife of his godfather the wife of his sentry his bodyguard's wife and 15 friends of his younger sister the wife of his own pastor the wives of several ministers of state including one particular minister allegedly called minister oburu his little brother's own wife and the pregnant wife of his own uncle now i must state categorically that this disgusts me morally ethically irrespective of where you find yourself on the globe i'm sure if you put this side by side with your culture and traditions and even personal beliefs you are going to be disgusted by this but this is what this guy is alleged to have done and these videos have been released it's all over and somebody will be asking what led to all this now that is the thing about life and being evil and doing wrong in secret thinking you can hide it forever because it turns out that mr balthazar ibang and gonga is actually being investigated but for a different reason altogether he's under investigation for allegedly embezzling about one billion dollars of government funds and if you are familiar with financial crime investigations you would know that when such investigations are ongoing every aspect or most aspects of your life is going to be dissected for possible evidence that may help the investigation so it was in the course of this that at a point in time investigation agencies had to allegedly confiscate his computer and his phones and in the course of reviewing this they found these footages on them which begins to open another chapter to what offenses he's been investigated for it is however unclear as to how these videos got leaked but either way they've been leaked and i'll get into the implications of all these things but it seems like this guy has ruined a lot of homes seriously that's not to take responsibility or accountability away from the ladies involved but how do you get to do this in the first place and even go to the extent of recording it and some of them were even recorded by the ladies themselves you see some married women with their rings and some were even doing lady to lady <laughs> there was one woman in there who is said to be doing her own things with other ladies in addition to the guy and it's it's just it's just so disgusting and the worst part for me the most annoying part for me is that Balthazar is actually married to a very beautiful woman and he has six kids you see the kids here but I've bled their face out of respect for the family I've also bled the face of his wife but I've seen the, the picture of the woman alleged to be his wife and she's a very beautiful woman although I'm not saying she is an angel but no matter the problems he might even be having in this marriage if any I don't think anything suffices or excuses that he goes to do such a disgusting thing he might say that oh whatever 
people might even be hailing him that he's done something you know the nasty ones are making fun of the whole thing but they don't realize that there are serious implications to this because as it stands now this has even overshadowed the actual reason the primary reason for which he was being investigated that is for financial crime and like i was saying when it comes to financial crime investigations most often than not your life will be turned upside down and dug into from several ways any digital thread you have will be investigated your phones your computers everything so if you are not careful before they even get to the main thing that is being investigated other things about you may be coming out and it looks like that is what has happened to Balthazar. and to think that this guy has done these nasty things with the female relations of high profile people including his own uncle's pregnant wife how do you do this you can clearly see that he doesn't have any morals personally i think he's probably possibly sick in the head because there are certain things you can't just get up and do and the fact that he's recording it is testament to the fact that he has a problem because i believe he doesn't just record he goes back to sit and watch and maybe that is what makes him feel he's powerful irrespective of the actual status he has but like i said there's something off about this guy irrespective of whether he turns out being actually found guilty of the financial crime he's been investigated for i think that the damage has already been done and this guy has damaged himself damaged his family especially his wife and his kids and one other serious thing is he is reportedly was having these kind of x-rated encounters with these women in his office in bathrooms in hotels outside and this guy was basically behaving like a dog literally and he was doing it without protection there was no condom use and to think he would finish all these nasty things outside and come back to his wife and be with her intimately. That is so unfair to his wife. And you look at the woman who he has married as his wife and you ask yourself, what else could this man be looking for if you have a wife like this and six children like this? And he is 54 years old. An African at that age is considered per tradition to be wise. Wise enough that the younger ones could come to you for counsel on life. So to see this man allegedly doing these things at the age of 54 years old. And the fact that he is doing it with married women and daughters of high dignitaries. And disgracing females and womanhood like this it's so bad but on the flip side these women also need to be ashamed because at the end of the day morally you don't get yourself involved in this especially if you are married and it doesn't seem like they were being forced physically that is not to say there is no form of coercion because sometimes his position can intimidate them sometimes it's possible he might even have a hold on them. He might have a secret on them he's using to manipulate them to get them to comply. All these things are possibilities that I'm hoping investigations will look into because in as much as some of these women may be naturally promiscuous and consent to these things, it is not also far-fetched to suspect that some of them might have done it because he may have a hold on them. But all in all it's just disgusting because sometimes you see the women themselves recording the video and Balthazar is just one dude without any morals or principles because come on Mr. Balthazar Ibang Egonga what else are you looking for 400 x-rated videos and counting 
it's not just up to 400 it's still counting up and look at the damage this has done to his kids and his wife and also to the families of these women and i don't know how this will play out eventually i'm sure he may lose his job or something but one thing i i would advise is he needs to keep his head on the swivel because with the people whose wives and daughters he has done this to he has to put a heavy price on his safety and protection because it is very 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 likely somebody may want to come after him especially given the fact that some of these people are also people who have influence and power and some may even be associated with his appointment and the fact that he couldn't respect the sanctity of their families and he was able to invade it and desecrate it like that some people would never let it go it may take years it may take months it may take decades but this guy I think he should keep his head on a swivel if he's guilty of these things he's been accused of because you don't just go into a man's family and do this and walk away into the sunset. I tell you, doing it to even one person's wife is dangerous enough and life-threatening enough not to talk of to almost 400. That is what I am suspecting per the things I've seen worldwide and to talk of the fact that Balthazar's videos have been leaked the question has come up also wondering who leaked the videos some people are alleging that maybe it was leaked by the investigating body but then the question is if that is the case how does it play out now I am thinking, I'm no expert, but I'm thinking that if they leaked the video, then Balthazar may have cause to put them on in a law court because they don't have any right to do that as far as I think. And he may be able to contest whatever reason they may have for leaking it if indeed they leaked it. But then, on the flip side, what if it turns out that it was Balthazar himself who leaked it? If he leaked it, then he would also have legal questions to answer. And also, if any of the ladies come out to have any evidence to prove or suggest that they were coerced sorry, by Balthazar into performing these kind of nasty X-rated ordeals, then Balthazar's charges are going to stack up really high because then... He wouldn't just be facing the suspicion of being involved in financial crime, but he would also be facing possibly sexual harassment charges as well. Now, to talk of the impact this will have on him going into the future, I think this guy has put himself in a position where he is globally embarrassed. Some people may be making fun of it on social media and seemingly praising him and trying to argue he's done nothing wrong because it seems like they were consenting. But I tell you, in the spirit of ethics and morals, this guy has desecrated everything human about himself and his family. The person that I feel very sad for most is his wife. And then also the families of these women and i don't know why married women were allowed this it looks like the standards in our society are falling to the point anybody is just getting married without understanding the sanctity they should apply to the marriage that they are going into i'm following this case as it's evolving and i'll bring you updates as and when they are available but if these allegations against Balthazar, a bank, a gonga are true, then Mr. Balthazar, I would say as a man that shame on you. You don't pride yourself as a man based on the number of women that you are having X-rated encounters with. That is so weak of you. A real man 
respects his vows to his wife, respects his role and responsibility to keep himself decent and respected for his family. A real man learns to control his sexual edges to the point that he uses his head and not his waist. Subscribe if you are yet to do so, turn on post notifications and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there.